Hey, what's the Living Universe? It's Xander and Ray, and welcome back to WWE 2K Universe Mode. Welcome to the final pay-per-view before WrestleMania Season 2. Welcome to Elimination Chamber. Xander, we have, a, we have a stop on the road to WrestleMania, and it runs right through the Elimination Chamber. And the Elimination Chamber is an interesting night every year, isn't it, Xander? Because it could change the entire trajectory of the biggest show. And we are live from Cleveland, Ohio. Shoutouts to Prince Meta and Greg Tree. We're kicking off with the number one contenders match to the SmackDown Women's Championship. As out first, here comes the newest addition to the Friday Night SmackDown roster. She was traded over from Raw after Shayna Baszler, the Women's Royal Rumble winner, swapped brands to challenge for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. It's Lacey Evans making her way to the ring. Lacey Evans comes down here tonight. Recently switched shows, wants to really grasp, wants to really, really get a good showing here in the Elimination Chamber match. But this match is one of those matches where it's it's one of the most brutal matches you could ever be involved in. Absolutely. Lacey Evans, a former SmackDown Women's Champion at one point in her career in Season 1. And now tonight, she makes her way to the ring. The hat and the skirt come off and she is going to be inside one of the pods tonight. A very favorable start to the Elimination Chamber to start inside the pod. Out next. Well, certainly someone the LS11 universe is very vocal about their opinions on. Nia Jax making her way to the ring. Nia Jax. A big woman has secured a pod spot in the, in the Elimination Chamber match. She will get to come out later in the match. She's a monstrous, monstrous woman. That spells bad news for everyone else in the mix, I would say. It definitely does, Xander. And now, as we see her approach the Elimination Chamber, we should be kicking it off. We're kicking it off with a Chamber match, guys. We're kicking off with a Chamber match, and we will be closing with a Chamber match. We're starting off with this matchup. The main event tonight will be the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber match. What a Chamber match that is guaranteed to be, guys. And, and Nia Jax stands in the middle of the cage taking it all in before entering her designated pod. That is right, and with this match, we are going to find out who challenges Tony Storm at WrestleMania. Out next, the HBIC of SmackDown, Mia Yim, the luckiest woman in the world, because she is engaged to Keith Lee. What a beautiful, beautiful man. Anyway, a beautiful woman for a beautiful man. Mia Yim. What an exciting style she has, such as she's under. Every second this woman's in the ring, she's entertaining. Mia Yim is absolutely great. Mia Yim, she's got a very unique style, a very unique appearance, a very unique sense of fashion, I guess would be the way to put it, and a very unique, as I said, in-ring style. This is her first time stepping in the chamber, although this is the first time in the chamber for all these women. In fact, it is the first time in the chamber for all of these women in Universe Mode tonight because none of them have been inside the Elimination Chamber. We've never had a women's chamber match in LS11 Universe. The, the first women's chamber match in LSL and Universe is to side number one contender. And Mia Yim hopes to go through it all. To go through hell and back. Because that's what the Elimination Chamber is. Mia Yim makes her way to the ring. Looking to become number one contender once again to the SmackDown Women's Championship. She challenged for it back at Clash of Champions when Shayna Baszler was the SmackDown Women's Champion. Mia Yim, the third woman to draw a pod slot. We're going to find out who the fourth woman inside the pods are tonight. So, the final woman inside of a pod. Okay, here we go. Carmella making her way to the ring. The queen of Staten Island, ladies and gentlemen. But where's Pete Davidson? She considers herself the most beautiful woman in WWE. Carmella making her way to the ring. Undergone a bit of an appearance change, a bit of an entrance change as well. New music, new videos. Of course... One of those rare cases where new videos are modded in the game and it causes a huge lag spike. Carmella making her way to the ring. Carmella tonight looking to earn an opportunity at the SmackDown Women's title for WrestleMania. Of course, we know Tony Storm is guaranteed to walk in to WrestleMania as SmackDown Women's Champion after her championship defense just a few nights ago. That she is, Xander. That she is. And what a special what what a special honor that is to enter WrestleMania a champion absolutely one of one of the few stars guaranteed i believe the only person guaranteed a title to walk into mania as champion and while we now know who's starting it 
out first, the boss, and the Sasha real Banks. most beautiful woman in WWE. I'm just saying. An objective term, but Sasha Banks making her way to the ring. I respect all women, just making sure everyone knows that. Uh -huh. Sasha Banks making her way to the ring. We're, we're not using like dirt. We're, we're saying they're pretty. Yeah. Same way. Same way. I think Keith Lee is very pretty. Oh, he's oh he's gorgeous. Beautiful. Keith Lee is better looking than all these women. What are you talking <laughs> oh about? Oh my god. Keep digging, Ray. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get canceled. <laughs> we're not in stream order. I'd play the. Would you look at that, Ray? It's the police. Anyway, Sasha Banks making her way to the ring. Sasha Banks challenged for the SmackDown Women's title back at TLC. And now tonight, a very unfavorable position to start outside of the pod. She's one of the first two women starting, which means she's got to last. She's got to last at least 20 minutes before all of the competitors enter. Because remember, in the Elimination Chamber, every five minutes in game, uh, a new competitor will enter the mix. And that means we know who Sasha Banks' opponent to start off inside the chamber is. And it's a woman she has beat... Many upon many of times, she's starting off against Candice LeRae, the wife of the Royal Rumble winner. Both these women have have a very, very, I guess you'd say is an unenviable task of starting this match. Both these women have to be an Iron Woman in order to make it through the Elimination Chamber. Absolutely. But if you look at all six of these competitors, I'd say if any two could do that, it's these two. Of, of course, Candice LeRae, her attire is a tribute to the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Sasha's move sets often a tribute to her hero and Eddie Guerrero. Did you know that? Did you know Eddie Guerrero is her hero? Oh, yeah. She, she's never mentioned it. Yeah. Of course, a dream match between two I just two know because I'm a close personal friend. And of course. Oh, yeah. A match between two of the greats that we never got to see in Guerrero and Michaels. Almost having a WrestleMania 22. Of course, as now, it is going to be Banks and LeRae starting it off. Here we go. I agree with that sign. Get your popcorn ready. I'm sure when attending the premiere, I might have some popcorn. Who knows? Of course, this is the first uh, first Universe premiere airing after I have moved into LS11 Studios. Yep. The LS11 Studio. It's not just another basement apartment. What are you talking about? No, it's an, on, it's an above ground apartment. As now there's a right hand from LeRae, and now Candice LeRae, right hand from Sasha Banks, takes her down. Of course, we're in the early goings here, Ray. If you just had to pick a favorite out of these six, who do you think is going to go to WrestleMania? It's a controversial pick, Xander, and the fans are going to hate me for it. I think Nia Jax has a very good chance of winning this match. I believe the later Nia Jax comes into the mix, you might be right. The later she comes in, the better, better chance she stands. Of course, we all know I'm a huge fan of Candice LeRae. I've been following her since NXT. And apparently five minutes have already passed here, Xander. Well, it seems to be much like the Women's Rumble, isn't it? Yep. Who's coming out number three right. into this match? And the pods are going to be drawn. Who's going to be next out? Well, it is Mia Yim joining the mix. As now the two women of blue hair are going at it. Sasha Banks and Mia Yim. As look at this. Banks, boom, runs Mia Yim into the steel. And Sasha's going to take a turn. As I was saying, I followed Candice LeRae's career. I followed her when she started in NXT. I went back and looked at some of her work on the independent scene before joining WWE. I've always been a big fan of her, but she always, lately since coming to SmackDown, well, what is she doing right now? These three women, Xander, they just, oh my God, what's oh, Candice, Candice doing? What is Candice doing? Well, Sasha Banks has rolled me again up. One, two, no. And Candice LeRae. Oh your God. God. Drops on the Banks and Mia Yim. As now Banks and Yim still going at the fourth woman who had to join the mix-up. I've been following the wife for a long time, but she seems to struggle in big matches on SmackDown. As down goes Banks. Who's joining the mix next? Oh, the irresistible force has entered the mix. Nia Jax is in. As Candice and Mia Yim taking down Sasha Banks. Of course, now Mia Yim... Oh, grabs, grabs LeRae, cover. Mia Yim could get the first elimination of the night. Two, no, LeRae kicks out. Candice LeRae kicks out, and now Sasha Banks covered by Jax. One, two, no. Candice LeRae with her drop kick, Mia Yim out of the way. Carmella and Lacey Evans still awaiting entry into this mix, out, mix up. There's a clothesline from Sasha, and now Sasha Banks grabs Nia Jax, picks her up, and slams Ooh. her down. The strength of Sasha there. And now Candice LeRae... Hurricane Rana and into a roll up one, 
Two. Oh, no. Well, she had her. Well, it's between Evans and Carmella. Who's going to join the fray next? We'll then know who the final woman in the matchup is. It's going to be Lacey Evans, which means Carmella has drawn a very favorable spot. Banks bankrupt. The bankrupt connects, and Lacey immediately trying to pick the bones. Lacey Evans going right after Candice LeRae. Of course, remember a few weeks ago when Lacey Evans debuted on SmackDown, Candice LeRae managed to beat her in just a matter of minutes. There was an elbow to the head from Evans. Lacey Evans, the only woman in this matchup to have held gold on SmackDown. Candice LeRae, former NXT champion. As there's a cover by Nia Jax to Mia Yim. Sasha Banks taking down Lacey Evans. And now Banks picking Evans up. Candice LeRae waiting for Nia Jax to get into the mix. LeRae with a hurricane run into Jax. Candice LeRae grabs Nia Jax. Look at this. Candice LeRae. Springboard moonsault. Cover. One. Two. No. And we and now Carmella enters the fray of the women's match. We got a full house. As all six women are in. And Mia Yim takes Candice LeRae to the outside. Now Banks going right after Carmella. Imagine if Carmella was the last one in and the first one out. Oh, and LeRae and Yim training shots. And oh, Mia Yim gets thrown right into that chain link. Oh, and gets taken down immediately. LeRae ruthless here. Uh, oh, Sasha with a massive clothesline. And now Nia Jax with Lacey Evans. Nia Jax throws Lacey Evans to the outside. Candice LeRae joining the fray now. Sasha Banks. Oh, Candice LeRae wipes herself and Nia Jax out. Evans trying to capitalize. Two, no. They are honing in on Nia Jax right now. I would say that's the best strategy they could do is now Sasha's going after Carmella. And Candice LeRae, what's she thinking here? She turns Nia Jax over. Candice LeRae into Gargano Escape. The Gargano Escape paying tribute to her husband, the Royal Rumble winner. And no, Nia Jax with the face breaker punch. Could you imagine if Candice LeRae gets through the Elimination Chamber and her husband, just a few weeks before, makes it through the Royal Rumble, two of the most brutal matches you could possibly be involved in? Absolutely. As now right hand from Nia Jax. Knocking back Candice. And now, oh, Carmella just slams Mia Yim into the steel. And now look at this. It seems to be seems to be an alliance formed. Inverted Frankensteiner. Banks and LeRae forming a team against Nia Jax. And here we go. Line it up. Someone's making a bank statement. And it's tight. And Nia has nowhere to go. Even if she could get to the ropes. There's no DQs. Oh. Nia breaks free and LeRae springs on to Sasha. We are awaiting the first elimination, ladies and gentlemen. As now, Evan slammed into the steel. Of course, eliminations can take place all over the all over the chamber. As now, Candice with a right hand to Sasha. Nia Jax going after Sasha. Now Carmella rejoining the mix. Carmella in. Knee strike from Candice. Candice LeRae, no. Oh, Mia Yim, what are you doing? Mia Yim plants Lacey Evans on the outside. Mia Yim destroying Lacey Evans. There's one. one. There's two. There's three. Lacey Evans is the first one eliminated. Lacey Evans is going to stumble her way out of the chamber now. She's been eliminated. Nia Jax. because she was traded for Shayna Baszler. She's kind of eh, underperformed. Bit of an underwhelming respawn. Yeah. Return here. Oh, knee to the face from Candice. That's how she's won many of matches. One, two, no. Thought we were going to see some rapid fire eliminations there. We're down to five. Oh, Candice Lorraine catches Nia Jax. Stunner. And now Candice. What's she thinking here? She kicks Nia. She turns her over. Candice Lorraine right back into Gargano Escape. This is the third submission. Is Jax going to survive a third submission? She survived a Gargano escape, and she survived a bank statement. Nia Jax taps out. Sasha grabs Carmella. Bankrupt. It could all be over here for Carmella. One, two, three. And in the span of a, almost a minute, Xander, all th this field has been cut in half. And now Mia Yim goes for a spin back fist. Banks ducks it. Banks with a drop kick. The now first Candace. three women in are the last three women in. 
Absolutely. As and, now. and possibly the most talented fe- women, the most talented wrestlers in the world. Is Candice LeRae? Oh, she's escaped to the bank statement. Cover. One. Two. No. Sasha nearly caught off guard. Mia Yim, what a German suplex. Don't turn your back on the boss. Ooh, massive head scissors. Everyone just bursting him with offense now. One. Two. Candice LeRae kicks out. One of these three women is going to WrestleMania to challenge the, the SmackDown Women's Champion in Tony Storm. Who will it be? There's a big chop. Down goes Mia Yim. Sasha Banks turns over LeRae. Banks stomps the arm of Candice. You know Sasha Banks would like to hoist that title high at WrestleMania as Mia Yim nails a Pele kick. Huge Pele kick there from Mia Yim. Only one of these women is going to WrestleMania to fight for the title. One, two, Candice LeRae kicks out again. And now Sasha Banks goes for a right hand. Mia Yim near the back of Candice. Mia Yim with a drop kick to Banks. Back and forth we go all night, ladies and gentlemen. Three very promising competitors here on SmackDown. Sasha Banks. Right hand to Mia Yim. Kicks her in the ribs. Banks lines her up for bankrupt again. Cover. Could the final two be the first two as well? Two. No. She kicks out. And now LeRae tries to grab Sasha Banks. Mia Yim went for a drop kick. Banks kicks out the knee. Banks grabs Candace. Candace counters. Candace LeRae spins her around. Rolls Banks through. Cover. Cover on Sasha. One. Two. No. And now Mia Yim. Getting fired up. Mia Yim goes after Candace. Candace knocking back Sasha at the moment. Candace goes for a kick. Mia Yim watching on as Banks takes down LeRae. Turns her over. Single leg Boston Crab. Single leg Boston Crab is in. And Candace LeRae shoves her back. There now Candace LeRae. Right hand from Mia Yim. Mia Yim grabs her. And oh! Boot in the mouth. Down goes LeRae. And now Mia Yim turns Sasha Banks around. What's Mia Yim thinking? She's got the boss into the corner. Mia Yim with a kick. Takes her down. And now Mia Yim. Fires away with a knee into the face. Sasha Banks is down. The knee of Sasha. Oh, and no. Mia Yim with a stunner. Candice LeRae stuns Mia Yim. Turns her over. LeRae right back into Gargano escape. LeRae looking for her second elimination of the night. Mia Yim's fighting. She's got a lot of fighting to do to get out of this escape. There might be no escape from a Gargano escape tonight. As Candice LeRae wrenching in, Mia Yim is fighting for dear life here. Mia Yim scratching and clawing, trying to pull her way out of it. Mia Yim it. forced to tap out. Mia Yim has her WrestleMania dreams cut for the night. And we are down to two. It is the first two as the last two. Neckbreaker from LeRae. Either of these women could be going to WrestleMania Season 2. As now Candice LeRae went for a right. Sasha Banks with a kick to the ribs. Both these women have so much they fight for. Sasha Banks has been fighting these last few years to prove she is the best damn wrestler on the planet. One, two, no. Candice LeRae, much in that same regard, fighting to prove herself. And fight and can you imagine if alongside her husband she got to fight for the world championship in the women's division? Well it might be over because she might have just gone bankrupt. As now Banks looking to make the bank statement be the final moment of the match. Sasha goes for the backstabber. No! Candace LeRae swats her away. LeRae tries to grab Banks. Banks counters. Banks knocked back by LeRae. LeRae with Banks into the corner. Candice LeRae. No! Sasha Banks with a knee strike. Banks with a drop kick. Neither of these women are going to go down without a fight, and we all know that. And now Banks ties up Candice. Surfboard stretch. The surfboard stretch is in. Candice LeRae. Ooh! Kick out there by Sasha Banks. Referee didn't have time to get down for the count. And now LeRae puts Banks in the corner. Banks counters. Banks grabs LeRae. And now Banks... Oh, throws her to the outside. Ow. There's a kick from from Sasha. She's got LeRae down, and now Sasha Banks going to the top. Oh, dear God. 
Sasha Banks. Oh! Came off the pod and missed. Candice LeRae looking to capitalize. Candice LeRae picks Banks back up to her feet. LeRae with Banks into the corner. And now Candice grabs Sasha. But Sasha again somehow finding the wherewithal to fight out of this. LeRae keeps trying to put her up top. I think she's going for that top rope swinging neck breaker that she used to beat Rhea Ripley over a, almost a year ago now. And now LeRae puts her right back in the corner. And now LeRae. Now she's got her. Now she's got Banks right where she wants her. LeRae. Oh no. This is how she won the NXT Women's title. She's going to do it to Banks. Swinging neck breaker. Off the top. Hooks the legs. One. Two. No. I thought everyone in this building thought LeRae was going to WrestleMania. That looked like it should have been it. But Sasha Banks kicked out. And now Banks knocks back LeRae. Sasha Banks kicks her in the ribs. Turns her around. Four. Bankrupt. The bankrupt connects. And now is Sasha going to be the one to stamp her ticket to WrestleMania? Sasha going to look for Banks' statement again. Candace counters. And again, Candace with that amazing counter. She rolls her up. Cover. There's one. There's two. No. Back and forth and back and forth between the boss and Candace LeRae. It's the boss versus Mrs. Wrestling. And now Candace goes for a kick. Banks catches her. Takes her down. Back into a single leg. Boston Crab. Any moment this matchup could be over. Any moment one of these two could punch their ticket to WrestleMania. As LeRae takes her down. Candace grabs Banks. Flips around. Hurricane Rana, cover again. One, two, no. The frequent covers from both competitors tonight. Frequent covers, frequent attempt of submissions. Just showing the desperation. And an, oh, a massive, massive moonsault there. Candice LeRae tries to get her into the Gargano escape, but Banks pulls herself up to her feet and knocks her back. Banks goes for a right. Candice counters. Candice LeRae puts her in the ropes. And now LeRae with Banks, right hand to the back. And again. And down goes Sasha. And now Candice LeRae catching her breath. What is there to do for Candice LeRae now? She's going up. Candice LeRae on the top rope. Oh, boy. Candice LeRae. Boom. Oh, my God. Came off the pod and lands full across the body of Sasha Banks. And now Candice LeRae, but Sasha Banks fights out of it. Banks favoring the ribs right now, trying to fight back Ooh, as LeRae and that kicks her. a kick to the injured ribs. And LeRae goes for a drop kick, Banks out of the way, Banks with a right hand, LeRae with a kick to the head. And now Candice LeRae. We're reaching a special point in the match, Xander. Where it's just whatever you have to do to walk out with the win. Sasha Banks grabs her now. Banks swinging neck breaker. Into a cover. One. No. LeRae says no and kicks out. Knee to the back from Sasha. And a kick again. Sasha, Sasha going up top. Sasha's going up high. Sasha Banks going to the high rent district. Oh, going, oh my. going to the very top. Anything you can do, she can do. Oh! No, you can't. Candace LeRae dodges her. Candace LeRae. And she is stunned with another springboard moonsault. Sasha Banks did the damage to her own ribs, and now she grabs LeRae into an arm drag. You have to believe, though, she's struggling to catch her breath right now. Ooh, a massive elbow sends LeRae to the floor. And now she picks her back up to her feet. Right hand, no. LeRae counters. And now Candace LeRae ends a carry. Banks trying to crawl the ropes. We're seeing an incredible amount of resilience from both of these women tonight. As LeRae with a right hand. And another. And down goes Banks. Sasha Banks down on her back. LeRae grabs her. But Banks with an elbow strike. Sasha Banks went for a drop kick. LeRae swats her away. LeRae. Hurricane Rana. The LS11 Universe coming unglued right now. These two are giving each other hell at the moment. 
as Candace LeRae has Sasha Banks <laughs> picking her back up to her feet. And LeRae with Banks throws her across the ring into the corner. Went for a splash. Sasha out of the way. Sasha grabs LeRae into the corner. Sasha Banks with the knees into the ribs. Both women giving it their all right now. Banks just really wants this to be over, as does LeRae. They just... Oh, no. LeRae. What's going to happen? Banks. Oh, no. Banks hangs her up to dry in the tree of woe. And kicks her in the head to knock her down. Banks turns her over, and Banks... Oh, now Sasha Banks, returning to the form of the boss of old, turns her over. Cover. The brutality as she used to show. One... To no. no. And now Banks with a knee to the back. Sasha Banks grabs her, drags her away from the ropes. Banks kicks her in the ribs now. There's another kick from Sasha. And Sasha Banks getting fired up here. Turns her over now. Loray kicks her in the ribs. Loray! Sunset flip! Cover! One! Two! No! Loray is stunned. And now Candace, one last desperation play. Gargano escape is in. Oh, but Banks immediately gets out of it. Banks immediately creating the necessary separation to escape. And what's... Oh, we're going to get a swinging neck breaker there from Candace Loray. Candace with a kick to the ribs now, picking up Banks. Picking Banks back up to her feet. And Candace Loray with Sasha Banks into the corner. Candace LeRae with a forearm. And now LeRae backing up across the ring. Shasha, she in the corner. Oh, Ooh. she misses the drop kick. Counter for counter right now. Sasha takes her down. And now LeRae grabs her into a neck breaker. Down goes Sasha. And now Candace LeRae picking Banks back up to her feet. And Candace kick to the ribs of, Laura, of Sasha. Sasha knocked back. Candace LeRae went for a right hand. Sasha counters into an arm drag. Right hand. No. Candace kicks her in the knee. Candace grabs her. Candace LeRae scoops her up. Oh, look at this from LeRae. Plants Banks into the mat. Look at the bounce Sasha Banks just had there. LeRae dragging Sasha away from the ropes. Back in. Gargano escape in tight. Around the mouth of Banks. Sasha Banks scratching and clawing. Now it could be all over. Candice LeRae's going to WrestleMania. Whew. Candice LeRae punches her ticket to the main event. Or not the main event. To a match at WrestleMania. Sorry. The SmackDown Women's title awaits Candice LeRae at WrestleMania. My goodness. Candice LeRae eliminates Mia Yim and Nia Jax and finally Sasha Banks to win this matchup tonight. She put herself through hell and high water to get the win. Your winner and the number one contender to the SmackDown Women's Championship for WrestleMania, Candice LeRae. LeRae has one more test ahead of her. But it's one hell of a test. It's the SmackDown Women's Champion and Tony Storm. Candice LeRae, as you said, has a hell of a fight to go through. She gets the big win tonight. I think Sasha may be crying right now. She she gave it her all. And now you got to wonder, what's next for Sasha Banks after that? It's next for the boss. But LeRae is going to a women's title match at WrestleMania. But now, next, these two men, some of the oddest charisma I've ever seen. It's going to be an interesting battle here over the United States Championship. As here comes the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style. The man who just, he's, he'll, guys, the best I can describe him is like David Bowie. Just kicking you. Kicking David Bowie. Sure. Yeah, you don't know who David Bowie is, do you? I know of him. Nakamura making his way to the ring. 
This is the first United States title match for Nakamura. Nakamura, a former two-time Intercontinental Champion, the only two-time IC Champion in LS11 history. And tonight he looks to add one more title to that to that trophy case, ladies and gentlemen. But Nakamura has made no bones about it. His end game is a world title. Nakamura challenging for the United States Championship tonight. Nakamura making his way to the ring. This is the first title opportunity for Nakamura since he lost the IC title back at Bad Blood several months ago. Four months ago since the last time Nakamura held gold. And now tonight he fights for the U.S. title as he fights the United States champion, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight, a hell of a competitor. Came in here night one, won the United States Championship, and ever since then, it's been the center of his universe. Knight has been the U.S. Champion since his first night here in the LS11 universe. You're absolutely right. L.A. Knight marching down to the ring. The current United States Champion won it in his debut. The last two United States Champions have won, won their championship in their debut. L.A. Knight beating former champion El Generico. El Generico won the championship in his debut against Kevin Owens. Of course, now that Sami Zayn has returned to LS11 Universe, El Generico has gone back to the orphanage in Mexico. LA Knight looking like the model of a man, and he is going to, and he's about to have a great match, I'm, I'm guessing, with Shinsuke Nakamura and LA Knight. LA Knight tonight, no talk, just action. The United States Championship is on the line. U.S. title up for grabs. Nakamura, L.A. Knight, one-on-one. -on -one. As I said, this is the first time we're seeing these two face off. For the first time, Nakamura is challenging for the red, white, and blue title. That is, Xander, the king of strong style. Shinsuke Nakamura preparing for battle. As now he takes on the man that some have dubbed the megastar. L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight looking to make sure that he doesn't walk out of here empty-handed tonight, making sure he holds on to the United States Championship no matter what it costs. So it's L.A. Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura one-on-one -on -one for the United States Championship. This is only our second bit of action tonight. If you're just joining us, the U.S. title on the line. We've only had one match. It was the M1 Contenders match to the SmackDown Women's title. We saw just a moment ago. But the U.S. title up for grabs tonight. Shinsuke Nakamura, L.A. Knight. Here we go. As Nakamura grabs Knight immediately, Nakamura has him up. L.A. Knight with a knee strike to the head. L.A. Knight nailing the knee strike, and he immediately goes to the outside. Nakamura following him to the outside. L.A. Knight. He knows he doesn't want to mix it up with Nakamura. He's the, Nakamura's the king of strong style, for God's sake. L.A. Knight. Oh, going to use some underhanded tactics, it would appear. Takes down Nakamura. Full Nelson slams him into the mat. Picks him back up to his feet now, and L.A. Knight. Headbutt. Nakamura kicks him. Look at that, that's the first time Nakamura has gotten a strike and L.A. Knight was writhing on the mat in pain. And now Shinsuke shoving him back and Shinsuke scoops him up. Shinsuke Nakamura. Head first off the turnbuckle goes L.A. Knight. And now Nakamura. Kick to the back. Into a cover now, L.A. Knight. One, no, Nakamura not able to keep him down. And now Nakamura. Right hand from Knight. And LA Knight firing back. Shinsuke with a right hand. Shinsuke. Knee strike takes him down. There's knee oh no. LA Knight avoiding. Oh, and now Nakamura's in the corner. And oh, he hit with a clothesline across the back. LA Knight. Not above using tactics to win a match like this. Of course, he used an exposed turnbuckle to help him win the U.S. title a few months ago. And now he gra he's grabbed by Nakamura, who sends him off the ropes. And Nakamura! With a knee strike to L.A. Knight. Knight gets back to his feet. Kick from Nakamura. Knight gets out of the way. Knight dumps him out of the ring. L.A. Knight takes down Nakamura. They fall out of the ring again. L.A. Knight, now he's going for, he's got a chair in hand. 
throws that down the outside. Decides against it, it would seem. And now Nakamura, right hand to LA Knight. There's another. Shinsuke has LA Knight down, and Shinsuke picks LA Knight up to his feet. Right hand. Nakamura with a forearm strike, and another. Nakamura knocking back LA Knight, who goes down in a heap. Picking him back up to his feet now. Shinsuke, there's a chop attempt. LA Knight spins him around, and knee into the back. That knee right into the back can do some serious damage. And, ooh, LA Knight, no! Nakamura grabs him. German! The German suplex again. The ref finally notices what LA Knight has done to that turnbuckle. But that might cost Shinsuke Nakamura. He covers LA Knight. Referee not there to count it. LA Knight just laying up and looking at the lights. Killing time until the referee tries to count it. Maybe because he wants to show off one, two. Nakamura nearly got him. Arguably, with that, Nakamura should be U.S. champion. Arguably, I'd say he should be. And Nakamura, oh, a huge, huge double, a huge, huge hammer fist there. Now, let's see what LA Knight does. LA Knight setting up for a body slam. Plants him. Turns into a bit of a power slam as he falls. One, two, no. LA Knight beginning to grow frustrated with the fact they can't put down the King of Strong style. And now Knight picking Nakamura up to his feet. And L.A. Knight with Shinsuke into the corner. You can tell he was planning on that exposed steel being there. L.A. Knight definitely looks frustrated with the referee. Nakamura goes for a right hand. L.A. Knight shoved back by Shinsuke. Shinsuke turns him around. Shinsuke. Oh, L.A. Knight counters it into a crossbody. Nakamura staggering back to his feet now. L.A. Knight stalking. Stalking the King of Strong Style. Nakamura into the ropes now. LA Knight grabs him. Knight with Nakamura. Picks him up and drops him onto the ropes. Shinsuke goes down, gripping at his waist. And now LA Knight, what's he thinking here? Runs the ropes. Stomps Nakamura, who just takes it. Nakamura getting back to his feet. And LA Knight scoops Nakamura up again into that. Body slam. Cover. One. Two. No. L.A. Knight not able to keep down the King of Strong style. L.A. Knight and Nakamura. He picked up to get... Oh, another fist connects there. Into a headbutt. Nakamura now just answering back. And now Shinsuke. One single kick. And a sliding kick as well. The U.S. champion is really he's feeling his nose, making sure it's not broken. Turns him over. Nakamura, kick to the knees. Or kick to the ribs. Pulls him back. Stomps him. Shinsuke's got him down. Now Shinsuke will turn about his fair play. Now Shinsuke removes the turnbuckle. He picks L.A. Knight up to his feet. And Shinsuke, big combination strike, grounds the U.S. champion. And now Nakamura... Grabs L.A. Knight. Nakamura. Oh, Knight back body drops him. And now L.A. Knight picks him back up to his feet. Referee sees the exposed steel. L.A. Knight sends Nakamura off the ropes. Right hands now from L.A. Knight. Referee decides not to go fix the turnbuckle. Drop kick from well, Knight. Any moment this match could be over and he wants to make sure he's there. Nakamura rolls to the outside. L.A. Knight grabs him. Oh, look at this. L.A. Knight. Hammering away on the ribs of Nakamura now. And Nakamura just collapses to the outside. Oh, LA Knight! Well, the referee rolled out of the way as Knight went up to the top rope for a moment. He, LA Knight, he's not above a count out victory. No, he's not. LA Knight. Oh, well! Runs over the ref when he's just trying to show off. Oh, come on. I say you're better than this, but you're not. Hits Nakamura in the back with a chair. Oh, and but Nakamura, Nakamura reverses it, and the ref's back in the ring. Nakamura does reverse it. And now LA Knight going to throw Nakamura back over the top. And here we go again. Here we go again. Just cheating, pounding on. Nine, ten, eleven. That's ten. 
Down goes Shinsuke, who just falls face first to the outside. And LA Knight, now he knows Nakamura is not going to stay down. So he grabs him, he throws him back into the ring. LA Knight slides back in. And LA Knight. Oh, Nakamura grabs him, throws him in the corner. Nakamura! Oh, LA Knight with an elbow to the knee. Nakamura went for a cutter. LA Knight out of the way. LA Knight dodges LA Knight Nakamura. Circling back. LA Knight connects with some hits. Massive overcut there from LA Knight. LA Knight planting Shinsuke in the mat. Now he's calling him up, and LA Knight. Looking for the definitive end. Plants Nakamura with the face buster. Good night, Nakamura. Good Cover. effort from Shinsuke. One, two, three. Oh! Nakamura kicked out. I thought we were out of here, folks. As did I, Nakamura. LA Knight gonna do it again. Good night, Shinsuke. That time, it's over. LA Knight into a second cover on the second finisher. One, two, three. LA Knight retains. LA Knight keeps the, U the United States title for yet another night. You can see there, Nakamura had a definitive U.S. title victory there. But the referee was not looking at the ring, so therefore L.A. Knight was bought enough time to kick out. And then L.A. Knight using the chair shot, using everything to overpower the King of Strong Style. The King of Strong Style crumbles tonight at the feet of L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight picks up the big win over Shinsuke Nakamura. L.A. Knight gets the win. That was only our second bit of action tonight as well, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got more action coming up throughout the night. But for now, your winner and still the United States Champion, L.A. Knight. A big win for L.A. Knight. U.S. title stays in his grasp. as the quote-unquote megastar. Looking fantastic tonight in this U.S. title defense. He may have very well punched his ticket to defending that title at WrestleMania. Big win for LA Knight. But we have more action coming up next. Up next, the SmackDown Tag Team Championships are on the line. As here comes the Celtic Warrior out first. The Celtic Warrior. They formed, a, they formed an alliance. The Celtic Warrior and the Scottish Warrior in his own night recently. And ever since then, they've been really looking great on SmackDown. And tonight they challenge the, the two-time SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Undisputed Era. Absolutely. As Sheamus making his way to the ring out first. Sheamus makes his way to the ring. A friendship of ten years. There he is between Sheamus and his tag partner tonight, Drew McIntyre. And tonight they look to add some gold to that friendship. As Sheamus marches down the ramp. Sheamus has looked great lately here in LS11 Universe, especially ever since forming this team with Drew McIntyre. He's looked absolutely incredible. Sheamus makes his way to the ring. This is Sheamus' first championship match, period, in LS11 Universe. Sheamus has never fought for a championship in LS11. To me, that's shocking considering the level of talent he is, but better late than never, I would say, Xander. I absolutely agree with you. As Sheamus is making his way to the ring, looking to become a SmackDown Tag Team Champion. And of course, as I said, he is teaming up with the Scottish Psychopath. He is teaming up with the former World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre. 
McIntyre making his way to the ring out next. This time last year, McIntyre was the Universal Champion defending against AJ Styles successfully. And now tonight, he hasn't held the championship in quite some time. It's been nearly a year, 10 months, since Drew McIntyre was world champion. And now tonight, he's fighting for the tag team gold. What do you think that does to a mindset of someone like Drew McIntyre? Well, Xander, it's a few things here. You know, McIntyre is a very good competitor. He's a strong guy. And it, it fuels his hunger that he hasn't had a title in so long. You know, it's something that he wants. He, he says, he said at one point, he is the face of WWE. He is the face of Universe Mode. Not too long after that, he lost to Tommaso Ciampa. But, you know. He moved over to SmackDown, met a man named Ciampa, and the rest is history. As Drew McIntyre looking to at least win some gold tonight. Looking to become a SmackDown Tag Team Champion. Only the second championship for McIntyre if he were to win tonight. So Drew and Sheamus have made their way to the ring, and they fight tonight, as we said, for the SmackDown Tag Team titles against a set of two-time Tag Team Champions, the only ever two-time Tag Team Champions in LS11 Universe, the only team to hold multiple different sets of Tag Team Championships together, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, the Undisputed Era. There's Bobby Fish, there's Kyle O'Reilly. The UE make their way to the ring. This is not the first time, or this is not the last time we will be seeing these two tonight, as Adam Cole will be in action later tonight defending the World Heavyweight Championship. That he certainly will, Xander, and we'll see how it turns out. But these two now, you know, they, they originally lost the belts to DIY. But the Royal Rumble, they managed to win it back, becoming two-time champions. They both have been looking very impressive. Kyle O'Reilly, in particular, has just been looking fantastic as of late. Indeed he has. He knocked off the Royal Rumble winner, Johnny Gargano, just a week before the Royal Rumble. He did. He did. Kyle O'Reilly. Bobby Fish. The, the undisputed era have made their way to the ring tonight. Could this be their final night as SmackDown Tag Team Champions? Sheamus and McIntyre sure seem to think so, as they both knocked off Fish and O'Reilly respectively in singles matches over the last couple of weeks. They have, Xander, the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Indeed, the SmackDown titles are on the line tonight. So, introducing first the challengers, the team of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, and the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. And their opponents, representing the Undisputed Era, they are the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Fish and O'Reilly defending the titles tonight. This is their first title defense since winning the gold back at the Royal Rumble. Of course, I believe when they won the gold at the Rumble, many people thought, oh boy, here we go again, UE versus DIY. But seems the seems DIY now have their own problems to worry about in the World Heavyweight titles. It's Sheamus and Bobby starting off. Sheamus actually knocked off Bobby Fish in some singles action a few weeks ago. As Sheamus shoves him down. It is not looking good for the Undisputed Era's SmackDown title ring tonight. They might have finally met their match in Sheamus and McIntyre, but Bobby Fish just checks Sheamus across the ring. These two men quite quite a size advantage for Sheamus and McIntyre. Ooh! But they don't have that tag team veteran status that Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly do as Sheamus kicks out the leg of Bobby Fish. You're absolutely right, Ray. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly have tag team history dating far before coming to WWE and becoming the Undisputed Era as Fish and O'Reilly grab Sheamus and they wishbone the arm of Sheamus. They send him across the ring and double kick, taking him down. And now Kyle O'Reilly in the mix-up, one of the fan favorites of the Undisputed Era. As now Sheamus picking O'Reilly back up to his feet. O'Reilly throws Sheamus over the top. And now Kyle grabs Sheamus. Kyle O'Reilly grabs Sheamus up. 
onto his shoulder. Suplexes him back in the ring. The strength of Kyle there as he suplexed Sheamus. And now Kyle O'Reilly. Right hand, no Sheamus countered. And now Sheamus grabs O'Reilly, throws him into the corner. Tag made, Drew McIntyre in. Oh my god. Ray, are you seeing this? Oh my god. That is nearly 14 feet. Standing over Kyle O'Reilly there. Sheamus and Drew both upwards of 7 feet. Not quite 7 feet, but close enough to it to where that was a near 14 foot drop that Drew just came down from. Tag main Bobby Fish in now. Smart strategy here to get Kyle the hell out of there after that. DDT and into an elevated German. As Bobby Fish joins the mix now and Drew kicks him in the head. Drew McIntyre now picks up Bobby Fish to his feet and Drew with Fish throws him in the corner. Drew McIntyre grabs Bobby Fish, tag made to Sheamus. Well that's one way of hitting him with your boot, Sheamus. It certainly is, Xander, and ooh, Bobby Fish dropping in there. Sheamus, oh no. Oh, well, Sheamus now has him up for white noise. Drew, springboard drops him. I I didn't expect to see Drew McIntyre doing a springboard tonight. I did not have that on my bingo card. There's a headbutt. Went for a right. Bobby Fish kicks him in the ribs. And now Bobby Fish with McIntyre into the corner. And Bobby Fish now. Tag made to Kyle O'Reilly. Now Fish and O'Reilly with McIntyre. Very frequent tags from both teams tonight. And now Drew going for a ride. They're using the, the fact that this is a tag team match, guys. They're using a lot of team maneuvers. As Kyle O'Reilly knee into the head. Taking down McIntyre. And now Kyle O'Reilly shoved back by McIntyre. And now Drew picking him back up to his feet. And Drew McIntyre. Headbutt. Forearm. Into a German. Drew McIntyre now picking up Kyle O'Reilly and Drew McIntyre knocking him back. Down he goes. McIntyre went for a chop. Kyle O'Reilly spins him around. O'Reilly now with McIntyre into the corner. Forearm strike. Takes him down and now O'Reilly turns him over. Kyle O'Reilly hooks the arm. Arm bar. The arm bar. The submission specialist in Kyle O'Reilly. Ties up the leg as well. Kyle O'Reilly's got him. And Drew McIntyre rolling out of it. The issue with doing that move on someone of McIntyre's size is his leg is much more powerful than the average man. It's like a massive, massive suplex there. Sheamus reaching out for the tag, but Kyle O'Reilly interrupting, keeping Drew exactly where he wants him. Kyle kept away as McIntyre takes him down with a hip toss. And now he picks up Kyle O'Reilly to his feet. McIntyre with a headbutt. Right hand connects. Puts him in the corner now. And Drew McIntyre grabs O'Reilly. Reversed Alabama slam. Kyle O'Reilly driven into the mat. Headbutt again connects. Right hand. And there he scoops him up. And now Drew with a bit of white noise of his own. White, white, white noise connects. And Drew McIntyre ooh, throwing him in the corner. And now Kyle's going to get a face full of boot. Now Sheamus back into the match. Sheamus picking him back up to his feet now. Sheamus headbutt. Puts him in the ropes. Off the ropes now goes Kyle. And Sheamus, what a spine buster from Sheamus. An elevated spine buster taking down Kyle, who elbow strikes him. And now Sheamus thrown into the corner by the UE. Kyle O'Reilly tag made to Bobby Fish. And what are the UE thinking here? Oh, Sheamus is going to go for the ride. DDT. And up and over. Down goes Sheamus. Sheamus is hurt. And now, ooh, kicking him in the bend of the knee there, hurting Sheamus. And Kyle O'Reilly is exhausted as Bobby Fish does some a bit of admiring of himself. Kicks out the knee of Sheamus again. But Sheamus shoves him away. And now Sheamus picking Bobby back up to his feet. And Sheamus... Right hand to Bobby Fish and another. Down he goes. Bobby Fish is down. Sheamus turned around by Bobby Fish who hits him. Who gets hit with a headbutt. And now Sheamus throw, thrown off the ropes by Bobby Fish. Hip toss. Takes him down. And now Bobby Fish kicked to the ribs by Sheamus. And now Sheamus 
scoops him up, and now Seamus has turned. White noise! The white noise connects, and Bobby Fish is groggy. Bobby Fish is trying to survive here. And now Seamus, what's he thinking? He grabs Bobby Fish, boom, off the turnbuckle. And now Seamus with Bobby Fish again, off the turnbuckle. Brogue! The bro kick connects. We can have new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Two. Two. Bobby Fish kicked out. Drew was doing a great job at keeping O'Reilly out of the mix. Drew was playing his part in this tag match. Tag made. You're playing your part. And oh, oh right. they're doing it again. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Sheamus walking Drew into a swanton off the shoulders. Drew McIntyre with a swanton was not something I was going to say tonight either. Kick to the head. Drew McIntyre knocks it back. Chop. And now Drew gets put into the ropes. And no, he counters. And now Drew McIntyre right hand. No, Bobby Fish counters. Bobby takes him down. Bobby Fish has McIntyre. Turns him over. Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish proving his worth in this match. Ooh, a massive knee to the head. Massive knee to the head, as you said there. Bobby Fish has him down. And now Fish. What's he thinking here? Bobby Fish, Fish. is looking at O'Reilly. Kicks him in the back. Down goes McIntyre. Now Fish. Calling up McIntyre. Bobby Fish. Oh, what a close line. Oh, Bobby Fish. Drop Sheamus like a ton of bricks. McIntyre's alone. McIntyre into the corner. Bobby Fish and O'Reilly. Fish shoved down by McIntyre. O'Reilly counters. And now Bobby Fish with McIntyre. Elbow strike. And Bobby Fish goes for a kick. McIntyre counters. Throws him in the corner. McIntyre. Nobody home. Bobby I think McIntyre Fish. threw him into the corner expecting Sheamus to be there, but he is not. Now Bobby Fish. No McIntyre. Goes for a headbutt. Fish throws him in the corner. Kyle O'Reilly with a right hand. And now... Undisputed Era have Drew McIntyre isolated. That's where they want to keep McIntyre. McIntyre kicks him in the ribs. And now Drew, no. Bobby Fish counters it. Bobby Fish puts him in the corner. Tag made. Time for. Well, I thought we were about to see total elimination, but instead they wishbone the arms. Sending him off the ropes. Double penalty kick. The penalty kicks connect, and Kyle O'Reilly looks very happy with what he has left to do. Into chase of the dragon. Hooks the leg and arm. One. Two. McIntyre. Forces his shoulder up in the last possible second. McIntyre. You can tell Kyle O'Reilly thought it was over and that they were going to get to go home. Oh no. Sheamus. Ooh. Sheamus goes down. And Bobby Fish keeping Drew McIntyre at bay. McIntyre powering out again. Went for a headbutt. But Kyle O'Reilly met him with a knee. Throws him in the corner. And now O'Reilly tag made. Bobby Fish is in. It's time for total elimination. elimination. Bobby Fish into a cover. One, two, three. We're out of here, folks. Undisputed Era. Keep the championships for another night. They're heading to WrestleMania as SmackDown tag champs. What a win. UE with another big win tonight. The only hiccup in the tag team run here on SmackDown for the Undisputed Era has been that brief spell where DIY captured the gold. But that seems to be over now, and the era of gold seems to have returned to the Undisputed Era, and I don't think it's ending anytime soon. They're just missing the IC title now. Your winner's in still. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era. Big win for the UE, but we got more action coming right up next, ladies and gents. Don't go anywhere. Because up next... LS11 Universe has a Patreon. What's on the Patreon, you might wonder? Well, at any dollar amount, you get access to the LS11 podcast, a podcast that takes a deeper dive into canceled storylines from universe mode, as well as a look into the lives of myself and Ray. 
Also, at any dollar amount, you get early access to side series on the channel outside of the universe modes. Not just that, but at any dollar amount, you also get access to every exclusive Patreon video, including the likes of Carnold trying to break the streak in 2K14, and the once a month series, Universal Flashbacks, where I remaster a classic match from the original LS11 Universe mode. At the $5 and above tier, you get your name in the credits of every video on the LS11 Universe channel. And at the $10 tier, you get a personalized thank you video sent to you by me every month, as well as the ability to suggest what pay-per-view or classic show we watch on the bi-weekly Friday watch-alongs. And once we've reached our big goal on Patreon, we'll be launching a Patreon-exclusive universe mode as voted on by you, our Patreon backers. So if you're willing and able, please consider backing us on Patreon. Link is in the description. We have the World Heavyweight Championship after, after past me rambled at you for a minute. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now here he comes. And <clears throat> Tommaso Ciampa tonight looks to punch a ticket himself to WrestleMania and the one-on-one -on -one rematch with his best frenemy, Johnny Gargano. Tommaso Ciampa, with a simple three words, made this match. It was the SmackDown after the Royal Rumble. If you didn't see it, it was the SmackDown after the Royal Rumble, and Johnny Gargano came out to make his decision. He told Adam Cole, I'm not picking you. I'm picking the World Heavyweight Championship because turn around and you'll see who you're facing at the Elimination Chamber. A fairy tale ending from Ciampa and a simple three words. Goldie, Daddy's home. And Tommaso Ciampa looks to secure that match tonight. His, the match he wants for WrestleMania. The main event, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa 3, the trilogy. As Ciampa, the Blackheart, making his way to the ring. Ciampa wants Goldie back. This is the longest Ciampa has gone without being a champion in the LS11 universe. This is day 56. Or no, this is day 28, excuse me, without a championship. For Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa has never gone longer than 28 days without a championship. If he wins tonight, that means that that cycle continues. Tommaso Ciampa, the black heart of SmackDown. And despite that being his nickname, guys, there is not a man in, in all of Universe Mode who the fans love more than Tommaso Ciampa. Might be able to think of one, but we'll see him later. Tommaso Ciampa, the black heart of SmackDown, he takes on, well he's coming in alone tonight, the World Heavyweight Champion. The only man to hold two different world titles in the LS11 universe, the NXT title and the World Heavyweight title. Former Money in the Bank winner, well I thought he was coming in alone, he's brought his back up. Adam Cole. The Undisputed Era making their way to the ring. Uh, hey, hey Roddy. You missing something, buddy? Oh, yeah. please. I've accomplished more than you have. Hey. Hey, I, I was in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. I don't have the shortest Royal Rumble time in LS11 Universe history. Yeah, I mean, you have the biggest ask, I think. Look. My business with Jinder Mahal has long since passed. But the Undisputed Era make their way to the ring, but not before the drop of the... Boom. 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 Anyway. Undisputed Era make their way to the ring. If Adam Cole retains tonight, he punches his ticket to the main event of WrestleMania Season 2. And it'll be Cole versus Gargano. Either way, it's a hell of a main event. It absolutely is. The World Heavyweight Championship. This is the first time Tommaso Ciampa and Adam Cole are having a match in LS11 Universe, not counting when Cole cashed in money in the bank. So his opponent, the challenger, first from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 225 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa goes it alone, I'm sure... If he wanted to, he could have Gargano on here for backup, but that's just not Champa's style. His opponent from Panama City Beach, Florida, weighing in at 209 pounds. He is the world heavyweight champion, 
Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole holds the world title high. As I said, this is the first time Cole and Champa meet one-on-one -on -one outside of the Money in the Bank cash-in because that was no more than a cash-in, a last shot, and a three count. So Adam Cole hands over the world heavyweight title as the dogs remind you that this is one of their final hurrahs in this series. They just come to the window and start barking directly into the window during the final match. Pretty much. As here we go, Cole versus Champa. It's on. Champa coming right out of the gate with a knee strike. Champa not wasting any time. Cole, gonna Cole should probably try and get the hell away from this psycho. Well, this is the first time Champa's been able to get his hands on Adam Cole since he ripped the world title away from him. Throws him right out there to the UE, and Champa, one of the few men who's not gonna waste any time. Oh my God! He shoves Roddy into the Roddy into the announce table. Tells Kyle to get the hell out of his way, but Champa gets caught for his trolls. Innovative offense there. And the UE, they're, they're still kind of licking their wounds here as Tommaso Champa literally just ran into battle in a one on four fight. And it looked like the UE may need more people. Looks that way. As Cole, no, Champa caught the legs. And now Champa, right hand. And Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa is a storm of insanity and brutality here. He's been waiting a long time to beat, to beat up Adam Cole for what he did. Ciampa. Adam Cole has gotten barely anything in. Ciampa came out of the gate like a madman. As now Cole ducks him. Adam Cole. Oh, went for an elbow strike. Ciampa. Look at this. Ciampa is coming right out of the gate. Adam Cole is unpinned in almost a year in LS11 Universe. His only loss is coming in tag team matches where his partners have been the ones pinned. Adam Cole. Let's not forget the man who's one of the few men who's pinned him is people like the, NXT, the former NXT champion Pete Dunne. And it's... Guys, Adam Cole is an elite level talent is what I'm trying to say here. As is Tommaso Ciampa. But Ciampa is making it look easy with how... Oh, and Fish... The one man. Oh, and Adam Cole immediately takes advantage with a backstabber. Fish, the one man who Champa didn't, who didn't get his hands on. As now Champa, knee strike. No, Adam Cole out of the way. Now Adam Cole, thanks to that well-timed distraction by Bobby Fish, Cole has bought himself back into this matchup. But now Cole dragging Champa away from the ropes, and Cole. Well, I don't think that's going to be quite enough, pal. One, two. Champa gets the shoulder up. And he's immediately arguing with the ref. He does not want to be in there with Tommaso Champa. Bobby Fish again trying to interfere, throws a chair into the ring, perhaps hoping Cole will use it for either hoping Cole will get an opening to use it with the referee's back turn, or maybe hoping Champa will blatantly use it and get himself disqualified. As now Adam Cole. No, 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 no! Oh wait, Roddy! What the hell? Roderick Strong! Behind the ref's back, and now Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish taking out the ref. O'Reilly waiting with bated breath on the apron. Kyle, this is so. This is blatant interference. He's told Kyle to get in. This is just like. This is just like bad blood. Oh, but wait a minute. Here the, we go. The cavalry's here. Business is picking up. Here comes the man who may as well be called Johnny Mania at this point. With what? Oh, he's taped. What? Johnny Mania, huh? Johnny oh. Gargano sprinting down the ring. You rim. love it. Gargano runs into Roddy. Takes him down. Gargano escaped to Roddy. The Gargano escape. And Roddy's tapping desperately. And now Gargano, one man wrecking crew, takes out Fish. This matchup's gone out the fucking window. And now he's face to face with Adam Cole. This could be the man he faces. In a month's well, time. It's gotta be. The match is over. But here comes Triple H. The SmackDown GM coming to the ring. Triple H has got to try and get some order in this madhouse. Triple H looks pissed that these guys just ruined the world title match. Well, this will go down in a no contest, no points for anyone in, Al in Masters of the L7 Universe on this one. Triple H throws down the water bottle. That is enough. I think I speak for everyone here. 
when I say I'm sick and tired of all of this. It's time for this whole situation between all of you to be settled. So Adam Cole, you are no longer defending the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania against Johnny Gargano. Because you are now defending the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania in the main event against Johnny Organo and Tommaso Ciampa in a triple threat. What? What? Wait a minute. DIY getting the last laugh over Adam Cole. Look at these three in the ring. This is your WrestleMania main event. And I can't tell if Gargano's excited or livid that his guaranteed championship matchup just got a black-hearted edition, but it's time for some six-man tag action after that. And we're going to ignore that we basically did the same finish two three, two weeks One week ago. One week ago. We're going to ignore that that happened. It was unintentional. We yeah. put this like eight months ago. And then, like, I booked that a month ago and forgot that we booked that seven months ago. Here come the Monday Night Messiahs to the ring for this <laughs> six-man tag match. It's been a very interesting road leading to this matchup, Brad. In my defense, and I can't remember what I ate last week, so... So, this has been a very... Back on track. This has been a very interesting build-up to this match. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, we thought they were good. You know, former S.H.I.E.L.D. brothers, we thought they were good. They've teamed up in the past, they've helped one another... But then Seth and Roman couldn't qualify for the Elimination Chamber because of a guy named Daniel Bryan. Uh, Roman was pinned that night. Fairly. And he took it out on Seth Rollins. And then the Usos took it out on Shane Thorne and Dio Matta. And Roman Reigns has said before he doesn't think Seth is, Seth is the same. He thinks he's kind of gone soft lately. And then, so Rollins, Thorne, and Madden were out dealing with injuries the next week. Roman tries to attack Daniel Bryan to steal his spot in the Elimination Chamber two weeks ago on Raw. And Bryan says, you might not want to do that. Roman asks him, why not? And Bryan says, because why mess with me when you've already pissed them off? And out came the Messiahs. And this matchup was made. But Roman said some very interesting words to Shane Thorne on Raw this week, right? Roman found Shane Thorne back in catering. Ironic. That's where Raw... And said, you know, this is where you were before Seth plucked you from obscurity. And he told him, look at what Seth did to Buddy Murphy. Murphy no longer with the LS11 universe. Unfortunately. Look what he's done to the AOP. To Blake and Cutler. Think of what he did to me seven years ago. How do you, what makes you think the same won't happen to you? Roman's point is not lost on me. Like, Rollins, he... Rollins claims to help individuals, but his track record kind of shows he uses them. But the, I, I can see that, but at the same time, I look at the ring. Rollins has treated Thorne and Madden better than any of his disciples. Which is why Romans accused Rollins of going soft. Yeah, it's, it's such a strange thing to think about. But, but here comes... One thing, that's something that Roman Reigns will never be accused of as he leads this, the bloodline. Well, out first is going to be his cousins, the Usos. Roman Reigns has apparently requested to come out separate from his cousins tonight. The tribal chief makes his entrance alone, Sander. Well, I've been told there's something a little special with okay. Roman's entrance tonight. Something we've never heard before. The Usos, the blood. The Usos now, I guess, called the Bloodline as a tag team. Former SmackDown tag team champions, Jimmy and Jay, making their way to the ring. Jimmy and Jay, here tonight, they look they look utterly fantastic. And tonight we have an interesting, very interesting six-man tag. As the Usos have made their way to the ring, Jimmy and Jay now just awaiting their tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've asked for months. He's got the new theme, stop asking. Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, 
has arrived tonight. This is the first time Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns will be opponents in the history of LS11 Universe. Roman Reigns, former WWE Champion. Seth Rollins, former Universal Champion. These two have had so strangely similar career paths here in the LS11 Universe. Think about it. Seth Rollins, but almost in an opposite way. Seth Rollins was a world champion and then turned his back on the crowd and created this faction to help himself try and get back to the top. Roman Reigns struggled as a struggled as a good guy and then created this faction on the same night as the Messiahs were formed to help him become a world champion. And ever since then, Roman Reigns, especially recently, you know, he had a bit of a dry spell there, Xander. He really did. And then he decided he was going to go even more in the hard direction. He has become, like, damn near a dictator over the bloodline of the Usos. He is cold. He is merciless. As Roman Reigns makes his way to the ring, Roman and the Usos facing Rollins, Thorne, and Madden tonight. This is going to be... This is going to be a chaotic six-man match, that's for sure. You look at the Usos, they're just kind of looking around and grinning. Roman's grinning. Roman doesn't smile too often anymore, but Roman... Well, here we go. Rollins is going to be starting off, I believe that is Jay Uso. I can't quite... To what the hell?! Shane Thorne just punched Rollins in the back of the head! Shane Thorne... The turncoat wants the self-sacrificing disciple. Now the turncoat. Oh God! And now Deal Men pulling Rollins to his feet, and the muscle turns on the Messiah as well. Thor and Madden have walked out on Seth Rollins, and Rollins is stunned. Rollins has tears in his eyes. Jimmy. Oh, oh no. Jimmy with a super kick. Jimmy with the super kick. Jimmy steps back and Jay's going up high. Come on, man. There's a splash. Rollins looks utterly devastated. And Rollins taken down by his own faction and the bloodline. Rollins is essentially in a three-on-one handicap and Roman's been tagged in now. How is seems, Rollins still breathing? Oh, God! It seems Shane and Madden just broke Rollins' spirit, and now Rollins wants to break his body. Seth Rollins has had a checkered past these last two years, but even he doesn't deserve this. Come on, Roman. He's already speared him once. God, I hate to say it. Just show him some mercy. Rollins, how is he still how is he still breathing? Oh, third spear. That's it. Good night. Monday night Messiah. Well, Ray, I can't believe I'm having to word it like this, but that almost seems like the season finale to the Monday Night Messiah faction. I mean, what are you going to do after this? Get more disciples? I, mean, I don't think you can. Oh, God. Roman's called for a mic. Well, how about that, Seth? I turned your boys against you. All I did was warn them that you'd do it first if they didn't. Just like you turned against us, they turn on you. This all ends when you bow to me, Seth. It all ends when you call me your tribal chief. Admit the me that I'm the man who put food on your table when we were in the shield. Admit it. When it comes down to it, I made your career. I made Ambrose's career. He refused to admit that I was better than him, and he's long gone now. So thank me, Seth. Because I'm the reason that you, I'm the reason that Becky and your little girl 
have food on your table every night. Oh, and Rollins has heard enough! All but Reigns! Spear to Rollins! Come on, man! Rollins! It Isn't all ends when you acknowledge me, Seth. Seth Rollins left broken and battered. He's going to be dragged to the back by medical staff. It's time for some singles action. Well, that's one hell of a transition. I get. I, what <laughs> else am I supposed to say? Even I don't know how to react to that. Here comes the charismatic enigma to the ring. Hopefully he's looking to inject some life back into this show after after possibly one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever seen in LS11 Universe. Jeff Hardy making his way to the ring. Well, right, Jeff Hardy is here. This is first time in a very long time that we're seeing Jeff Hardy in pay-per-view action. And he's going... And going one-on-one -on -one with a man who's been torturing him these last few weeks. Jeff Hardy tonight, the charismatic enigma, looking to, as I said, looking to try and just kind of ease everyone's minds. That's that. Seth Rollins, going to be assisted to the back, going to have some medical attention. I believe everyone's rushing for the boxes of tissues. And it seems, as now here comes Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt thing. Jeff Hardy, his opponent tonight, leading his Wyatt family to the ring. Bray Wyatt with Killian Dane oops, and Wolfgang making his way to the ring. The, as I've said before, it almost feels like the spirit of the Fiend trapped inside that lantern. Certainly does, but he carries it. It's like he bears it in his soul. And it's going to be a very interesting match. He's two very enigmatic men. Absolutely, I agree with you on that one as Bray Wyatt making his way to the ring. Last year, The Fiend was the WWE Champion, and Bray Wyatt was warning everyone, maybe you shouldn't let him in because it's a bad idea, but it's your funeral. As Bray Wyatt makes his way to the ring tonight to take on Jeff Hardy one-on-one, -on -one. the Wyatt family making their way to the ring. Jeff Hardy and John Cena actually teamed up a few nights ago to knock off the Wyatt family in some tag team action. As Bray Wyatt enters the ring. Bray Wyatt was actually cost the Intercontinental Championship a few weeks ago, thanks to Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. The lantern blown out as... Bray Wyatt's made his way to the ring. Wolfgang stands behind him. Killian, Killian Dane. Dane. The new Wyatt family, the th and everyone and everyone's wondering where the third place is. That third place, that's that's an honor of Luke Harper. The gone but never forgotten Luke Harper, of course. As Bray Wyatt prepares for battle with Jeff Hardy. So Jeff Hardy versus Bray Wyatt, one on one. Here we go, and. Bray! Immediately with a DAZ to Jeff. Jeff. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy clutching his head. And let's see where we go from here. Oh, torque in the neck. Of course, over the past few weeks, Bray has referred to Jeff as Brother Nero. And now Bray and I is looking to break Jeff Hardy. Bray fires back now, and Bray Wyatt. Grabs Jeff Hardy, who rolls through, and Jeff Hardy drop to hold. And now Bray knocked back by Jeff. And now Bray Wyatt grabs Jeff Hardy, pump handle. Jeff turns it into a crossbody. Two very enigmatic men as, ooh, Jeff connects with some elbows and some hit and some fists and some kicks. He's mixing it up with the strike. Bray with a headbutt immediately answers back. And now Bray throws Hardy across the ring. Now Bray just kind of praying over the fallen body of Jeff Hardy. Picks him up. Tosses him across the ring. And now Bray Wyatt has Jeff Hardy in a seated position. Working over the neck now. Jeff Hardy is down. Bray Wyatt looking to put some torque on the neck of Jeff Hardy. Now just wrenching back on it. Something we used to see the Fiend do quite a lot. As now Bray working over the neck. Bray 
as Jeff down still and Bray Wyatt just drops the charismatic enigma into a cover. One, no. Jeff Hardy is down. We are nearing a full calendar year since we last seen The Fiend. We are four weeks away from being able to say that it's been a full calendar year. As now Bray Wyatt, oh, well, Jeff Hardy, shoulder block, takes down Bray. And now Bray getting picked back up to his feet by Jeff. Bray gets caught with a right hand. And now Jeff knocking him back. Jeff Hardy put into the ropes. Bray Wyatt gets caught with a right hand. And now Bray kicks Jeff in the ribs. Bray Wyatt, whoa, went for a body check. Jeff Hardy flipped over him. That was pretty cool. Jeff Hardy, he's actually on the bigger side of a guy, but he's very aerobic. So Jeff Hardy is a heavyweight nowadays. Put on a little more weight since his cruiserweight days when he was a younger, when he was a guy around 18, 19, when he first joined the WWE, back when it was, of course, the WW. And now Bray covers him. Jeff kicks out. This is not the first time we've seen these two face off either. They actually faced off one-on-one -on -one right before the Royal Rumble as well. And Bray got the win on that night. As now Jeff Hardy trying to fight out. Jeff Hardy getting back to his feet. Punches him in the ribs. Right hand to the head. Knocking back Bray. Jeff. Oh. Twist of fate. The twist of fate connects early on. One. One two, two. No. Bray Wyatt kicks out of the twist of fate. And now Jeff picking him back up to his feet. And Hardy. Right hand to Wyatt. And another Bray Wyatt with a right hand to Jeff Hardy. And now Bray pulls him in. Pump handle. And plants him. Picking him back up to his feet now. Bray Wyatt's gotten down. Bray. Huge urinagi to Jeff Hardy. And now Bray Wyatt. Where they stomp to the ribs. Kick to the back. Jeff powers back to his feet. And Jeff Hardy. DDT. Now Jeff, he's going up high. Hardy, going to look to do what he does best. And that's high fly with the swan taunt bomb. Got all of him on that one. Jeff into a cover. One, two, Wolfgang. The family saving Bray Wyatt. The Wyatt family saves Bray Wyatt. And now Jeff Hardy, oh, tries to do the baseball slide to Wolfgang. And now Jeff just kind of throwing some threats at the Wyatt family. But Bray Wyatt now, watching as Jeff goes to the top. Oh, my God, racked him on the top rope. And now what the Cup hell? checked him there. And, oh, no. From the top. Boom. Mm. Splat goes Hardy. And now Bray is calling him up. He's going to hit him so hard he's going to think he's Will of the Wisp. And now he pulls him in. He's not actually going to do that. And now into... Goodbye. Sister Abigail. Bray Wyatt drags him away. Stares right down the camera as he covers him. One. Two. Three. We're out of here, folks. Bray Wyatt makes it an early night. He pins Jeff Hardy right in the center of the ring. Down goes Jeff as Bray Wyatt picks up the victory. Jeff Hardy came so close yet so far as Bray Wyatt wins yet again. You gotta wonder what does that mean for Bray Wyatt heading into the road to WrestleMania? Well, he's on SmackDown, so I, I imagine he's going to insert himself into the Intercontinental title picture. I have to imagine so. John C and of course, WrestleMania in New Orleans. John Cena versus Bray Wyatt in New Orleans at WrestleMania. That's never been done before. As the Wyatt family celebrating in the ring, Bray Wyatt falls to his knees as Wolfgang and Killian Dane. The family with the win. Oh, boy. Hey, Ray. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for the chat to get really toxic? Mm, depends on how long the match is. Right? That's fair. Oh, boy. You guys are not going to be happy about this one. I thought we were finally about to get to the chamber. I mean, you know. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlotte Flair could win the Raw Women's title just a month before WrestleMania. 
Yes, cool. Let <laughs> the eggs flow through you. <laughs> of course, you know what? Just because. So this was re- this match was recorded before TLC even aired. And we were asked this at TLC, so how about I explain? So, let's go through the roster, because I know someone, I know multiple people, are going to be like, well, why so is So Charlotte it? didn't have a coat, and then she had a coat. Well, she's just she... that good, Ray. She's just that good. So she... you're going to, I'm sure you're all going to ask, why isn't this person getting a title match? So let's go through the Roman's roster and say, Alexa Bliss has been murdered by Rhea Ripley many times. Asuka lost to Rhea Ripley many times. Hey, Bailey Xander. was uber murder. Xander, you need to calm down. Either way, Charlotte won a battle royal to get here. Don't expect this one to go long. You, we're, are we going to put the belt on Charlotte just four weeks before WrestleMania? I mean, we're about to find out. I mean, we might troll them. Either way, this matchup's happening. It's literally, this is premiering. We can't jump. I love how, like, once the pay-per-view, we have the most meta commentary on one match. Haven't we already had that this show? Which one was that? I feel like it was, like, the... It wasn't... No, I guess we haven't. Oh, so this, welcome to the meta commentary match. Yeah, uh, you don't like Charlotte and Rhea happening on this show? Get over it. We booked it before you guys complained at TLC. Which, to be fair, we were part of the complaining people at TLC, too. Yes, that's true. We didn't know it was about to be done to death in real life when we recorded this. Yeah, at the time it had only been done once. Two years ago, almost. Yes. So, there you go. So, please, this is me being regular, not commentary, host of the channel, Xander. Well, like, one year ago. Yeah. Like, guys, just please chill out. This matchup's happening. I literally couldn't change it, otherwise I'd have to re-record, like, four episodes. I'm not doing that. So either way, winner of this matchup faces Shanna Baszler at WrestleMania, and at the sound of my hand clap, we go back to commentary, and so Charlotte Flair tonight has a big opportunity. A huge fan favorite is Charlotte Flair. Oh yes, you know, second nature, daughter of the nature boy, has no doubters, no haters whatsoever in the WWE Universe. Now, obviously, the Raw Women's Champion has been a very dominant champion, though, in Rhea Ripley. As Rhea Ripley has already beat everyone there is to be on Raw. Literally, the battle royal we had a few weeks ago to crown the number one contender was a matter of, well, who is Rhea going to face again? Because she's beat everyone there is to beat. Which is part of Shannon Baszler's reasoning of why she came to Raw to challenge for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. Yes, so it's basically a fight to see who is the sacrificial lamb. More or less, yeah. So Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair are going one-on-one. Here we go. As they walk up, Charlotte pushing Rhea into the corner. Referee getting between the two now. Oh, right hand from Charlotte. And now Rhea with a forearm strike. Charlotte kicks her in the ribs. I believe they've already gone longer than they went to TLC. And now Charlotte picked back up to her feet by Rhea. Rhea with a kick to the head. Went for a right. Charlotte countered. Charlotte with Rhea up on her shoulders. Rhea Ripley takes her down. Charlotte goes down. Rhea picking her back up to her feet. And Rhea, kick to the ribs of Charlotte. Pulls her in. Pops her up. Pump handle. Charlotte rolls through. Charlotte grabs Rhea. Spins her around. Charlotte Flair with Rhea into the corner. Charlotte grabs her. And leg sweep. Charlotte Flair looking to become a 30-time world champion here. Before you know it, she'll be challenging for the Intercontinental title. Shout-outs to China. Rest in peace. And now Charlotte... Bulldog choke on Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley trying to fight out of it. Rhea rolls out of it. And now Rhea Ripley tackles Flair to the ground. And in one shot, Rhea just did as much damage as Charlotte has done in the entire match, it feels like. Rhea Ripley is merciless in the ring. Kicks her in the ribs. Rhea Ripley knocking her back. Ripley puts her in the ropes. And now Rhea with Charlotte hops over crossbody. Rhea Ripley knocked her down, and now Charlotte getting knocked back. Rhea Ripley taken down. Charlotte Flair grabs her from behind, turns her over into a single leg Boston Crab. And Rhea Ripley shoved back by, shoves back Flair. Rhea Ripley oh, flips her across the ring. That was a good flip there, Xander, as Charlotte starts trying to pick herself back up. Charlotte up in the ropes now. Rhea Ripley 
with flare off the ropes, hops her, and okay. crossbody. And now Rhea picking her back up to her feet. Rhea Ripley, spear, cover, one, two, no. Rhea Ripley with that impactful spear nearly broke Charlotte in half. Picking her back up to her feet now is Ripley, kicks her in the knees. Rhea Ripley knocks back Flair, grabs her, German suplex. Rhea Ripley just systematically picking Flair apart right now. Jabs the her. most dominant woman we may have ever seen. Ooh! Oh, God. She's the woman that beat Ronda Rousey. Let's not forget that. And Charlotte kicks her in the ribs now. And now Charlotte grabs Rhea and throws her across the ring. Oh, uh, now Charlotte just... Shades of her father on that one. And now Charlotte... Did you did you know she's Ric Flair's daughter? What? She's never mentioned it. Dang. And now Charlotte with a clothesline. Well, it makes sense. Someone like that, they want to make it on their own. Yeah. 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 They'd never use their family's name. Charlotte takes her down. Spear of her own to Rhea. <laughs> We're <laughs> assholes. Anyway... <laughs> What? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, there comes a point in every recording session where we just lose it for a few minutes. We lose the plot of the show. Oh, what for the spear? Thank Charlotte God, it's this match. Charlotte hopped over. And now Charlotte with Rhea into the corner. If that had been two matches ago, it would have been very uncomfortable. And now Rhea dragged away from the ropes by Charlotte. Oh, boy. Charlotte, I think she was looking for figure eight, but Rhea just dropped her and planted Charlotte on her nose. And now Rhea picking her up, and Rhea Ripley with Flair off the ropes. There's the spear again. Dear God. Of course, we still got two things left tonight as well. We're still going to be finding out who the host of WrestleMania is later tonight. Rhea trying to go for Riptide. Charlotte kicks her in the ribs, and we've got, of course, the main event, the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber match. That we do, Xander. And oh, oh she's laying the top. Oh, oh figure no. four. Can she make it the figure eight? Oh, boy. Figure four turned into figure eight. We're about to have a new champion. We're about to have a new champion. Charlotte's going to take the title on to WrestleMania. But Rhea Ripley fights out of it. Punches Charlotte in the face. Good night. Sweet Queen. One, two. Oh, Charlotte. Oh, sweet, sweet Charlotte. You're going to be the reason we get hate mail. <laughs> You're going to. Welcome to the jungle, baby. You're going to die. So Rick tied. One, two. Thank God. We're going to get hate mail for her kicking out of the big boot. We accept that. Please leave our family out of it. <laughs> they did nothing wrong. They don't even really understand what we do. I've tried to explain to my dad several times what we do and he still does not understand. Nope. We've been doing this for two years and he has yet to understand exactly what it is I do. Charlotte Flair, so close yet so far tonight. And now I will officially say... Back of the line. Shayna Baszler's next. Rhea Ripley, Shayna Baszler, they're going to go one on one at WrestleMania, folks. A rematch from NXT TakeOver Brooklyn Season 1. That it is, Xander. And. That's going to be exciting. Yes. Uh, I mentioned Candice LeRae looking to become the third woman to win, a, to win the championship after they held the NXT Women's Championship. Mm -hmm. Fun little fact there for you, but now it's time to find out who's hosting WrestleMania after a merch ad. Do you ever see me sitting here making these videos and you think to yourself, man, where can I get some Xandermania merchandise? No? Well, you can get it. Following the link in our description, you can go to the official LS11 Universe merchandise shop and pick up items representing the characters and creators here on the LS11 Universe channel, including myself, Ray, the Doctor, Carnal, and all the other characters that you've seen here on the channel. Link is in the description. Well, here to introduce the host of WrestleMania, it's the chairman of the board, Mr. McMahon. 
Mr. McMahon here, and I to introduce the host of WrestleMania. It's been a very hush-hush thing around the office. I haven't even been able to figure it out, and I have several moles, mostly in the mailroom. I don't figure out much, but anyway. <laughs> of course, I'm head commentator. I'm part of Talent Relations as well on the main roster. Ray's part of Talent Relations for NXT. I don't even know who it's going to be. I've not been told anything. So, Vince McMahon, Mr. McMahon, I think his brother ring looked like he just got done at the gym. Maybe he just had a well-done steak with some ketchup. Yep. Let's find out what the boss has got to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today to make a very special announcement. For the first time in LS11 Universe, we're going to have a WrestleMania host. Four weeks from today, when we come live to you from New Orleans, the host is someone I know you're all going to love. He's by far the best possible option for the job. He's beloved. Real handsome son of a gun. Reminds me of myself a bit. And the WWE wouldn't be where it is today without him. Well, who's it gonna be? Son of a bitch. Yes! Really? The... Why? Baron Corbin? Baron Corbin, whose Bitcoin returns have gone great! The lone wolf of Friday nights, Baron Corbin, is apparently the, the WrestleMania... This has got to be a rib, right? Why would he let this guy host WrestleMania? Maybe he's going to do a good job. How do you look at yourself in the mirror every morning? For the 15 minutes you cry before every match. Well, it's like, what's like, when someone asks me, how do I sleep at night? Plenty of pillows, fan locks, music. I sleep great. Oh, my lord. Why Baron Corbin? Lights out by 10.30. Why is Baron Corbin... Like, who in their right mind makes Baron Corbin the host of WrestleMania? Who yeah. writes this crap? Who in their right mind pushes Baron Corbin? Baron Corbin... The host of WrestleMania. Oh, Mr. McMahon, I have to I have to thank you for this incredible opportunity. And I just want to say to everyone who thinks that you've made the wrong choice. Oh! What? Oh! Business just picked up and Stephanie, ladies and gentlemen, and Baron Corbin looks scared. It's the Texas Rattlesnake! It's Stone Cold Steve Austin! I... I... Give me a hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Oh. Hey, Corbin, I don't think you're the host, buddy! Steve Austin flipping in the bird as this Cleveland Steve, crowd goes crazy! Uh, you, you... You look good? Uh... I, uh... I was... I was never gonna actually make Corbin the host of WrestleMania! It was you, you know. It was always you. We we agreed on it weeks ago, you know. Uh, did I? I mentioned you looked great, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, mother Mother Nature's not been not been quite as quite as kind to me. And uh, Austin stuns the boss. It's the '90s all over again. If you're ready for Stone Cold Steve Austin. To host WrestleMania. Give me a hell yeah. And if any of you sorry some bitches like Baron Corbin want to stand in my way, I'll drop you with a stone cold stunner, stomp a mud hole in you, and walk it dry. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so. Well, Corbin was the red herring because Austin is hosting WrestleMania. And to that, I will, in fact, give you a hell yeah. See you at WrestleMania, Steve, as Baron Corbin slowly makes his way to the back. Oh, Corbin's still laying there. That was a heavy stunner. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is the host of WrestleMania. Now that is going to be a WrestleMania worth watching in four weeks' time. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is far from the last thing on our plate tonight. Now it's finally time 
for the men's Elimination Chamber. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. The winner of this Elimination Chamber match will be the WWE Champion and will head into WrestleMania to face an opponent that I, I guess will determine in the next few weeks. As here comes the Prince of Monday Night Raw, former WWE Champion, so much for it being his last shot at Survivor Series, Finn Balor. Finn Balor earning the right to challenge another time here tonight. Elimination Chamber in this Chamber match. And he actually draws pretty lucky. He's pretty lucky he doesn't have to start tonight. Absolutely. Balor making his way to the ring. The Prince of Monday Night Raw, as I said, makes his way. And as they say, when you come at the Prince, you best not miss. Finn Balor, former WWE Champion. The second longest reigning WWE Champion. Bobby Roode only just overtaking that this past month at the Royal Rumble. But Finn Balor tonight steps into the six sides of steel. Wait, this isn't TNA. Balor stepping into the Elimination Chamber tonight as he makes his way to the ring. He will be starting in a pod, as Ray just said. As Ray also said, a very favorable position for Finn Balor. My God, how many abs can one human being have? His abs have abs. For God's sake, man, eat a carb. As now Finn Balor makes his way to the ring. Finn Balor tonight, surveying the scene. He's all on his own inside the chamber. And you know he only eats, like, steamed chicken and cauliflower. You know that. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Mm. Except that time he spent an entire 20 minutes trying to tweet out, I just had three beers and a donut and couldn't spell donut right to save his life. He tried that tweet five times. Finn Balor, a little bit of knowledge there that I've just bestowed upon all of you. Uh, look look up Finn Balor donut tweet one day. You'll, you'll thank me. He once tweeted out, I just had three bears and a dog nut. Um, Finn Balor makes his way to the ring. So Finn he, Balor enters his pod. So despite being from Ireland, he can't handle his liquor because three beers and you can't spell donut? I can't spell donut sober. Well, who's got the next oh, slot? Oh, H yes. Oh, yes. We saw his fiance, his bride-to-be earlier tonight. And now tonight, the most beautiful man in the WWE, in my opinion, but that's also fact, Keith Lee it's, entering it's, the chamber. It's not a matter of opinion. Look at this man. He's gorgeous. He's beautiful. I love him so much. Keith Lee making his way to the ring. Prepare to bask in his glory, LS11 Universe. His new theme has not been released at the time of recording this. He's not going to have his new theme until after WrestleMania, so if you ask me when he gets his new theme, if it's been released, that's always going to be the response, after WrestleMania. Did they finally release that thing? Nope, not the time of recording this. We're doing this commentary July 27th. Still not out. When did he get it? Survivor Series 2020. Been nearly a year. Keith Lee makes his way to the ring, though. Keith Lee, another favorable position tonight inside of the pod. Keith Lee, prepare to bask in his glory, as I said, ladies and gents. Former United States champion, a breakout star of season two if I've ever seen one. I'd be hard-pressed to find anyone else you could say was the breakout star of season two. As Keith Lee preparing to enter his pod for the night. This is Keith's first WWE title match. Dang. Keith Lee's first WWE title match. Oh, well, the champ's got a pod. That's good. Bobby Roode, the glorious champion, making his way to the ring. You can tell he's happy he gets to go into a pod. Yes, he is. As he makes his way to the ring with the WWE Championship around his waist. The the lights hitting that championship are blinding. As yes, Bobby, are. Bobby Roode making his way to the ring. He is the longest reigning WWE Champion we have ever had in the LS11 universe. He has overtaken Balor's reign. Bobby Roode... If he wins tonight, we'll walk into WrestleMania as WWE Champion. There it is. Now it's glorious. As people, it's a great honor to walk into WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. 
It's been held by such that's all, that's the thing. She's been held such people, Brett, but as Bret Hart, John Cena, all the greats, The Miz, obviously. Yes, of course. Can't forget The Miz. Bobby Roode, just making sure everyone knows he's champion for handing the robe over to be taken care of by the ring crew. Hands the championship over to the referee to take care of. That's what's on the line tonight. The Raw WWE Championship. As Bobby Roode looks at his pod, he looks over his opponents, Balor and Lee, two of his opponents. Balor, a man he's beat several times. Now we're about to find out who got the final pod. Oh, yes. This is a terrible person to have not starting the match. The dark horse in many ways of this match. You say that? This man just pinned the WWE Champion on Raw clean as a whistle the other night. I wasn't saying in ter- I'm saying in terms of style. In terms of shock value. Bronson Reed, guys, this man has made a splash real quick in all of you in mode. NXT, he really was like treading water until he beat AJ Styles. Had a I had a great rivalry with him and got called up when he was featured in the Royal Rumble match by Mr. Regal to Monday Night Raw. Came in on his first night in Raw and demolished Jinder Mahal. A great first night to have to call him by name after he and I came to a, a very mutual understanding. Yep. Yep. As Bronson Reed, you say he made a splash. Well, he's quite literally been making a splash because, as I said, just six nights ago, he splashed and pinned the WWE Champion. Yes, you may agree, much like mine with John, much like mine with Johnny Gargano. Yes, it's very mutual. Yes, yes, and, and Mr. Mahal and I came to a very mutual understanding as well. As Bronson looks around the ring, he did not have the last laugh on Raw, though. That honor belongs to Keith Lee, who ended the night with a big spirit bomb. So we now know who's starting. And it's the man whose contract with SmackDown expired at the Royal Rumble, and thanks to the actions of the WWE Champion, he made the decision, alongside Mr. Regal, to sign with Monday Night Raw, Daniel Bryan making his way to the ring. Daniel Bryan, he loved the SmackDown break, but he moved over to Raw partially because he wanted to face Bobby Roode, and also partially because he's, he's, his, his mentor is manager of the show. Absolutely, you can see this entire crowd The entire Yes movement is alive once again tonight. Daniel Bryan challenging for the WWE title. He is a former WWE champion in his own right. Daniel Bryan, much like a lot of stars here tonight, Xander, much like AJ Styles a few weeks ago at Super Brawl, he has more miles behind him than he does ahead. And he wants to hold that WWE championship one more time before he hangs him up. Right, it's put up or shut up tonight for Bryan. But we now know his final man the man that starts off the chamber with Brian, he is another former NXT star. He is the one and only Ricochet stepping into the chamber for the first time tonight. It genuinely scares me what Ricochet could do with an elimination chamber. Absolutely. He's dressed like Spider-Man, for God's sake. This is the match we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to find out who's walking into WrestleMania Season 2 as WWE Champion. We already have so many matches for WrestleMania 2 confirmed. We now know Rhea Ripley will face Shayna Baszler for the Raw Women's title. Candice LeRae will challenge Tony Storm for the SmackDown Women's title. Johnny Organo, Tommaso Ciampa, and Adam Cole will face off in a triple threat for the World Heavyweight Championship. Stone Cold Steve Austin will be hosting WrestleMania. We're going to find out what's going on with the Raw Tag Team titles tomorrow night on Raw since it was being defended under the Freebird rule, but Thorne and Madden have quite, quite, quite clearly split themselves from the Messiah faction. And we got more coming up this week as well. But right now, let's focus on the action at hand because it is the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber match. Rick there there got was the- a ghost. It's, it's ectoplasm. Anyways... Ricochet and Daniel Bryan. Oh my god, Ricochet and Daniel Bryan are starting the Elimination Chamber. God help the internet. <laughs> Bryan. Oh, takes down Ricochet. Ricochet, one of the young up and comers of Smack or of Raw. They're in the exact opposite situation, Ricochet and Daniel Bryan. Ricochet still has a fair bit of his career left ahead. And Daniel Bryan, he wants to be winding it down soon. So let's see how far Ricochet can go against the veteran and Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan 
has that suplex scouted by now. He absolutely does. As now he grabs Ricochet, throws him in the corner. There's a drop kick. And Brian going to run back across the ring. He's going to leap over the down ref into another drop kick from Daniel Bryan. And Bryan now picks Ricochet a big uppercut. And Ricochet hits a massive meteora. Bryan is stunned. Ricochet with a kick to the back. But Bryan hulking up here. Oh, a massive hit. Here we go. Ricochet. Another meteor out of Bryan. Daniel Bryan goes down again. Bryan is down and now Ricochet turns him over. Ricochet. He's going to be the first one out, Xander. Oh, Bronson Reed joining the mix. Big beefy boy time. The thick boy enters the mix. As Ricochet drop kicks Bryan. And Bryan... What a clashing of styles these three are. You have the high flyer, you have the technical wrestler, then you have the big man. Of course, it was Brian who laid out Bronson Reed with a running knee on Raw this week. Ricochet laid out Brian with a super kick. And now Ricochet kicks Bronson in the ribs. Ricochet trying to get Bronson Reed out early. Trying to make it a short night for Bronson. But Bronson Reed, the Australian upstart, gets kicked in the head by Ricochet. And you know Bobby Roode, he wants to be the last one out desperately. He absolutely does. There's a kick to the back. And now Brian turns his attention to Bronson. And Bronson is manhandling both Brian and Ricochet right now. And we're about five seconds away from figuring out who's next in this chamber. Once again, not Goldberg. Don't worry. Who's going to be the fourth man to join the mix? Oh, well, here comes Keith Lee. How much beef can there be? Keith Lee and Bronson Reed. That, this is going to be a hell of a face-off if we get a chance to see it. As Brian is going up top. Brian turning his attention to Ricochet. Oh, Brian about to be sandwiched between a Haas fight. Here we go. The Haas fight has begun. But Ricochet jumps between them. Down goes Brian. Oh my god. Bronson Reed just tried to drop kick Keith Lee. Brian. Oh, oh. here we go. Bronson kicking... Bronson getting kicked by Keith Lee. Sorry. Keith Lee has him down, and now Keith turns Bronson Reed over, and Keith Lee gets kicked in the back by Ricochet. Ricochet now picking up Daniel Bryan. Goes for a kick. Bryan spins him around. Bryan! It will either be coming out next. Oh my god! It will either be the Prince or the WWE Champion, and it's the Prince. Finn Balor, the fifth man to join the fray, which means the Champion has the most favorable spot in the Elimination Chamber. You know he's praying to God someone's eliminated before he comes in. Because he's got five people that really do not like him in this matchup. Balor and Brian now squaring off. I think Balor and Brian have the most personal hatred for Bobby Roode out of anyone in this match. Absolutely they do. Daniel Bryan looked like he was about to be World Heavyweight Champion 28 nights ago before Bobby Roode cost him. All because Brian said that he was going to show Bobby Roode what a real wrestler looked like. And now Finn Balor with a Power bomb! And look at this, Ricochet is getting beat the hell up by the two big men, Ooh. rammed into the steel by Keith. If that if that happens a few more times, this steel may come down. And now Balor's going up top. Balor's going to look to fly. Finn Balor, oh boy. Well, the champ's about to join the mix, and Bobby Roode chicken said, no, 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 no. Oh, splat goes the prince. Covered by Brian. One, two, no. Oh, here we go. Bobby Roode now in the mix. Brian and Balor both turn their attention to Roode. As you said, Ray, these are the two men with the most hatred for Bobby Roode. And Brian is going right for him. Keith Lee's just flattened Ricochet and eliminates him. Ricochet is gone. And Bronson Reed throws Keith Lee. Yes, kicks to, to Bobby Roode. Then Balor throws Bronson into the steel. And now Balor takes down Keith. Bryan with a kick to Bobby Roode. Daniel Bryan is keeping the pressure on. Balor trying to win at Keith, but Keith kicks out. Bronson Reed now. What's he thinking here? It looks like he's going to try and rejoin the mix. Yes, he is. Bronson Reed joins the fray. Daniel Bryan gets grabbed. Bronson Reed with an elbow strike. Into a second. And one more for good measure. Everybody in the ring now. Covered by Bronson on Brian. Brian kicks out. We've already seen one elimination in Ricochet. Who's going to be the next one eliminated? Guys, look at this. Keith Lee is locked eyes with Bronson again. And oh my god. 
Good lord! Literally, Br Balor had to move to avoid getting Bronson Reed thrown on him. And now Balor kicks Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed jabs him. And Rude and Brian are going out of here. There's a German to Balor. Brian spins Rude around. Keith Lee throws Bronson. And now Keith turns Bronson over. And, oh, Spirit Bomb! One, two, Brian kicked out. Brian kicks out of the Spirit Bomb. Lee looked like he was going to go to wrestle. He was going to eliminate Daniel Bryan. Keith Lee nearly eliminates the odds on favorite to win this match. Other than the chair. No, I'd argue that Brian is the favorite to win. Bobby Roode, he's been beat several times as of late. And going after the leg is Bobby Roode. Oh my god, look on the outside. Lee! No! Oh, oh my god! Ow! Bronson moved and Keith fell several feet to his doom. And now Daniel Bryan joining the fray. Everyone on the outside. Now Balor thrown back in the ring. Bobby Roode. We have a pile up here on one side. Ooh! Bobby Roode takes down. Oh my god, Keith just lands. Keith just lands on Finn Balor. And now Bronson Reed taking down Keith Lee. And Bronson Reed drops Keith. Brian throws Roode into the pod. Balor. Knee strike from Brian. Keith Lee shoves down Bronson. Balor thrown back into the ring. Finn Balor could be the next one eliminated. Bronson takes down Keith. Bobby Roode grabs Finn Balor. Bronson. Oh, wait a minute. Bronson! He's won many of matches with that Samoan drop. Samoan drop connects. Lee could be gone. What? Lee is gone. What a fall for Bronson Reed to earn. Bronson Reed among the final four in the chamber. And Brian gets caught in the arm drag. Balor could eliminate the world champion right now. Balor. Going high rent again. Splash. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Bronson Reed. Oh, down goes Brian. And now Finn Balor picking up Bobby Roode. Balor turns him around. Balor. Looking for reverse. 1916 plants Bobby Roode. Balor's got the champ down. One, two, no. Bronson takes down Brian, and now Bronson picking him back up to his feet, kicks him in the ribs. Bronson Reed, oh my God, Bronson, what are you doing? He's got Brian power bombs him. A power bomb on the outside. And uh, stopped the ribs. As now Rude. Oh, wait a minute. Bobby Rude. Bobby Rude. Kicks Balor. Rude. Again. Glorious DDT to Balor. Cover. One. Two. We're down to three. And Bronson Reed is a part of the final three. And Bobby Rude knocks back Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan spins the champ around. Daniel Bryan, well, Rude falls out of the mix. Bryan taking Bronson down. Yes lock. The yes lock's in, and it's in tight. And Bronson taps. Oh, and Bobby Rude is in, is going to get what's coming to him because it's Daniel Bryan as the last man. Punch to the back of the head. Rude capitalizing on Bryan being distracted. Not even caring about his, his, his history of concussions. Bobby Rude is ruthless. Lays him out with that spine buster. Now he's got Brian up. Kicks him in the ribs. Into the glorious bomb. The glorious bomb connects. Brew's going to retain. Two. Two. No. Brian kicked out. Now Daniel Bryan turned back over by Bobby. Bobby Roode. One. Two. Another kick out from Daniel. Bobby Roode so frustrated with the situation. Oh, punching him in the neck. Probably. As you said, Daniel Bryan's history of concussions could be coming back to bite him right now as Bobby Roode. No, Daniel Bryan knocks him back. And Daniel. Oh, wait a minute. Daniel has him in the yes lock. Two-time champ. Bryan's about to be a two-time champion. Daniel Bryan could do it. Bryan's about to be champion. 
Brian is about to be the WWE champion. Bobby there's, Rude. There's nowhere to go for Rude. Rude. Prying the hands apart. Punches him in the neck. Punches him in the throat. Brian with a drop kick. Daniel Bryan with a drop kick. And now Brian, what's he got to do now? Brian, I thought, had it there. Right hand to Rude. Oh, they both kicked each other. Drop kick. And now Bobby Rude. Picked back up by Brian. And Brian, right hand to Rude. Goes for a kick. Rude with a clothesline. We are down to the final two. Only one of these men gets to walk into WrestleMania as WWE Champion. Close line. Bobby Roode into a cover. And now into a cover. One, two, no. Kick out from Daniel Bryan. And now Roode punches him in the head. Roode goes for the kick and hits it. Oh, God. Roode now. Roode's got the leg and Roode takes down Bryan. And now Bobby Roode. Has Daniel Bryan down and Bobby Roode picking him up. Daniel Bryan turns him around. Shoulder block. Daniel Bryan goes down and Daniel Bryan, or has Bobby Roode down, excuse me, down Daniel Bryan picking Roode back up to his feet. And now Bobby Roode running elbow from Daniel Bryan. And now Daniel looking for the end. Daniel Bryan just kind of says, come on. Egging Roode on. He wants this fight at this point. And now Bryan... Picking Rude back up to his feet and Brian. Uppercut. Drop kick. The drop kick connects. He goes for another. Here we go. Mm. Got him. How is Ru how is Brian still in this? He's been in since number one. Oh, wait a minute. The kicks. The yes kicks. Answering back on Rude again. The whole crowd joining in. Daniel Bryan. And the yes movement's alive tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as Daniel Bryan goes to the corner. Bryan calling for it. Yes! Yes! Ryan, they know! Bryan immediately pops up. Hits one. Hits him with the elbow. Into a cover. One. No. Rude kicks out. Now Bryan with a kick to the back. I think Rude's treading water. Rude is definitely treading water at this point. Brian turns him over. It's only a matter of time, it seems. And now Brian takes out the arm. Rude and Brian have given it there all night. These two have given each other hell. Rude just kicked him in the head. Rude. Oh, no. Glorious DDT. One, two, three. And the Cinderella story is seemingly is derailed. Daniel Bryan doesn't know what hit him. Your winner and still the WWE Champion, Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode manages to leave the chamber with the WWE Championship still intact. What a win tonight. What an Elimination Chamber show. I'll see you in two weeks. I'll see you in just a couple nights for Raw. Ray and I will be back for NXT TakeOver 10 in two weeks. And four weeks from today, WrestleMania kickoff and WrestleMania. Until then, I've been Xander. I've been Ray. And that was, was Universe. Universe.